Oh, man, I could listen to that music all night long. Whew, that puts uh, polka music into the dirt. I like that. That's that's some Irish rock. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Game and happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, who's got their green on? Everybody got their green on? I got my green on. Got my John Deere t-shirt on. Uh, what's up? Uh, we got Chris Barrow first in the chat lab this evening. Uh, we got Aaron Kidder, Tyler Butterfuss. Pleasant View Farm says howdy howdy. We got Joey Trevette, Mark Hodge, John McKinley, Sean Swarm, uh, Kevin Wilson. We got Duane Baker, Jaker Pete, Deep Creek, and Dustin Masonette, and many, many more. Fred Murphy, Eric Landers, John Keohan, Ivory Ortega Martinez, Brian Santor. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Hope everybody had a uh, good St. Paddy's Day. Um... We're on Valley Spring, which is an Irish map based in Ireland by Irish Connor. That's the guy who made the map. Um, got a lot of grass to cut tonight. Actually, not too bad. Uh, we're going to finish this field. And then I have another field on the other side of the farm that we're going to cut. The one on the other side of the farm, we're going to turn into an actual field for uh, crops. But yeah, this is just a good old grass field. We'll end up uh, raking it up in a nice rows and baling it. Making a bunch of silage bales tonight. Uh, what's up, Tom Kelly, Jessica? Saint, happy St. Patrick Day to you as well. What's up, Suzette Bartlett? Tim Gibbs? Fent Farmer is in the house. Uh, we got Sean Swarm coming in with the five gifted Big Rig Frosty Game and memberships. That's Sean Swarm. Looks like uh, Jaker Pete. Carl B. Camp, Pete Sisla, Seth Marcus, William Z. Stratton, all getting gifted memberships from Sean Swarm. What's going on, brother? Uh, Pleasant says, guess no, Alice. I told you. I thought I thought you were listening last night. Yeah, Stevie, not feeling good. And then uh, I was thinking about doing that with you, but today's St. Patty's Day, so it just seemed like the perfect day for uh, some Irish farming. Lots of grass work tonight. But uh, I'm definitely in the mood for uh, an Alice stream at some point. That does sound fun. All Alice's. Yeah, it's St. Paddy's Day, so we're going we're gonna to cut a bunch of grass tonight and make some uh, silage bales for the cows. Uh, you should look up Billy Strings if you like that kind of music. Billy Strings. I really do. That's, that's catchy music right there. It stinks, though. Um, on Epidemic Sounds, what I use for music, there's only eight tracks for I Irish music. Eight tracks. That's it? You kidding me? That's some good stuff. That first song that we opened the stream up with, I thought that got me going right there. I was getting excited. But, um, yeah, I was surprised to see only eight tracks to listen to. But yeah, Pleasant View, I would love to uh, do that in the future. That does sound fun. Plus, we didn't have enough time to set up for that anyway, you jackwhacker. At least I know I wouldn't have been ready. Yeah, that's something we'd have to uh, plan a little more ahead of time. Uh, what's going on, Rhett Acres? What's going on there, Darda? Uh, Sean Swarm, thank you again, buddy. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. How's Jake or Pete doing this evening? Uh, man, them tasty cake, peach cobbler, mini donuts are delicious. Never had them. I have never had those. Yeah, I got the old New Holland hooked up to our uh, same tractor. This tractor's on the Mod Hub. It's actually very nice. It's got a lot of customizations for it. And I do have manual attach finally installed. We are running that tonight. So uh, I'll show you how that all works later when we have to uh, disconnect. All right, let's get the uh, rake in here. Got a couple new tractors set up on this farm that we haven't used before. But I like this one. It's got the uh, interactive controls. You can open your doors and remove the uh, fenders if you want. Do a little maintenance on it, I guess. It's got all kinds of little things you can do to it. It's, it's very nice. It's on the Mod Hub. The uh, same Explorer tractor. Any luck charms in the lucky charms in the field? There might be. That grass is. Look how. 
Look how long the grass is on this map. I love it. Um, we do have a weed whacker tonight we're going to use. Alright. Need to get my uh, HUD hider off. There we go. Get our fenders back on. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Let's get this out of the... Oh. Got to open the door. The gate. And then we'll uh, get in. Hey, anybody do anything exciting today? My day was kind of boring. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, they are at Walmart. They are good, says Jessica. Bluegrass is kind of like Irish music without the bagpipes. Something about those bagpipes. Uh, it just makes it unique. Definitely, definitely cool. Yeah, let's hurry up and fire up the weed whacker. I kind of want to clean up around the f gates that we drive through. I got my green on tonight, celebrating the holiday. Whoa. Whoa. All right. We're good to go. I'm just going to clean this up, make it look nice and trimmed. You like that? You like that? His arm's just a twitching away, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what's up, Lucas Smith? How's it going there, sir? Yeah, you get some ticks, some Irish ticks in these uh, parts of the country here. That is some tall grass. Right, that's an odd song. Kind of want to play the, the the last one. Let me switch that music. That sounds horrible. What else we got here? Here's the uh, one we were pl No, it's this. That one? Not too bad. I kinda like that. Relaxing uh, weed cutting here. <laughs> Evening frosty, when are you gonna mow the grass? I, I, I just cut the whole field. Oh, Mr. Hoffman. He comes in and doesn't even know what's going on, huh, chat? I just literally cut a whole field already. Silly goose. I wish it had, like, the uh, throttle sound. It doesn't do that. It just sounds like it's idle. It's the only downside. <clears throat> but it's cool. It has the uh, mulch option. So you don't leave grass on the ground. There we go. That's nice and cleaned up. Looking much better. Look at that. This is one of the new tractors tonight. This was added to the mod hub yesterday. And there's probably not many blue case tractors out there. But that's my favorite color. So I figured I'd color it blue to that. So it's the uh, Case 7210 Pro. Be rocking that to uh, get these all in nice rows here. Look how nice that looks. Nice and trimmed up on the uh, fence line there. Very nice. I'm doing good, Redneck. How you doing, brother? Uh, happy St. Pat Patty's Day, Frosty and Chat. This is my day. I got Irish running through my blood, says Kyle. Very nice. Blue Bloods is not even on. Dang basketball's on. And that Big Rig Frosty's on Deep Creek. That's good enough, right? <laughs> Alright, drop it like it's hot. Get this put into nice rows. What's up, Miss Fire Slant? Happy Patty's Day to you. Do you have a weed eater in real life? Yes. It's an electric one. It's a, well, it's a battery-powered one. My yard's super tiny. Everything's, I, all my stuff's battery-powered. <laughs> there's no, there's no sense in getting big stuff. It takes like 20 minutes to cut my grass. So yeah, I got, uh, I think it's Greenworks is the brand in real life. So the mower, the leaf blower, and the weed trimmer all, all use batteries, two batteries. So yeah, hardcore farming right there. <laughs> You like the blue case? Yeah, it's something different. Like I said, I don't know how realistic it is to have a blue one, but I like it. I think it looks quite splendid. All right.
Uh, what's up, Adam McCaskill? You're good, Redneck. Good, good, good. With Mr. Fire Slaying uh, working tonight, I imagine. Miss Fire Slaying. Now that he's a captain, he's probably not going to get a whole lot of time off. Got to keep everybody under control. Hey, Frosty, it's my birthday today. Wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday. There you go. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, what's up, Channing Hensley? Charlie boys in the house. Didn't I just put that into a row? No, I went up the opposite way. Here's the interior. It's even got a little uh, table with a... You can put your coffee cup on there. Little inside mirror, side mirrors. All nice gadgets and controls. Sharp looking tractor. Not too shabby. I like it. Very nice. What's up, Bradley Simmons? And it is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a spring March day on uh, Valley Spring Map. So we're going to try to get this field and another field cut and bailed up. We might do hay on the other one. Because this is going to be a lot of silage. So maybe we'll do hay on the final field. But yeah, my son's at his first dance right now. He's at a school dance. First one. He didn't seem too nervous. He seemed all right. But I don't think he's... Uh, he's not into the whole girl stage thing yet. He's just going to hang out, have the snacks, chill out with his friends. But I was like, don't be surprised. If a girl gives you that look like, hey, maybe we should dance or something. I told him, you got to be ready. I was like, did you bring any mints with you or some some gum to make the breath smell good? And he looked at me like, shut up, Dad. I'm like, I'm just saying. You just never know. You never know. Uh, Griffiths Larry, howdy, howdy. You just never know, right, chap? Uh, I had green shake today, says Brian. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What's up, Stephen Engler? Oh, Miss Fire Slam, what'd she say? Work is stressing me out. Hi, Tom. She didn't say if Mr. Fireslane's working. Usually I see him by now, so he must be working. But yeah, I'm digging the uh, blue the blue case tractor. Something different. So used to a red case. It's nice to have a pretty blue one. One little piece to uh, straighten up. That will be ready. The bail. So we still haven't cheated on this. Uh, still haven't. We're not going to. We haven't cheated on this uh, series here. It's all legit money-wise. I think we only got like 15 grand uh, loan take up, taken out at the moment. Got a few things leased. And uh, sitting at 24 grand. The only income we really make is off of uh, milk. That's it. It's a very small setup. Nothing too crazy on this farm. But it's relaxing. It's very nice. Oh, let me see. Oh, he is home. John Deere, Case Massey, Ferguson, Ford, New Holland, Kloss. What you talking about? Can I get a honka tootie, says Tom? I mean, I guess, if you think you really need it. There you go. Now we got Bambooski coming in with 10 months at Jack Wacker level one, says, hey, hail Billis. What's going on, Mr. Bambooski? What's going on, buddy? Thank you uh, for the 10 months and the five gifted subs from Mr. Bambooski. So 10 months of support from him himself, and then he throws out five gifted memberships Stephen Englert getting one of those, Devin Langford, Heath Chevron, Terry Altman, and Donna Atwell. Donna? 
How the heck are you? Donna's hiding. She ain't talking. She's she's hiding in there somewhere. Because you got to be here to win a gifted sub. So she was actually here, or is here. <laughs> Going on, Donna. Uh, thank you very much, Fambuski. All right, so here's another new tractor we added to the fleet. You got a 6410 JD, or 6 Series, whatever you want to call it. And then we got a nice little New Holland Roll Belt 450 on the back here. That's going to make 150 uh, round bales. You can do 125 or 150. Uh, we're going to do 150s. And then we're going to wrap them. We can squeeze through the fence line here. Little gate. And off we go to the sunset. Come on, cruise control, baby. A little steep grade. We might see some bales roll down the hill here. Depends how quick we fill up. Oh, what's up, Kevin Flores? Haven't uh, heard it in a while. Haven't seen you in a while, Tommy. Hope life's treating you well, buddy. Hey, Jack Walker, I finally made a live show for the instead of watching the replay. Hi from the UK, says the Wally 122. What's going on, man? We're farming here in Ireland tonight, not too far from your neck of the woods. Ireland is very close to the UK. Just a little boat ride away, huh? How many miles is it from Ireland to, like, the UK? Ah, crap. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that thing's going to start rolling down the hill. There's that song that we uh, started the stream out with. That's a good one. A bale still still rolling down the hill. <laughs> That's funny. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, trucking with Lester coming in with the ten dollar super chat. Says hi, Frosty. How's it going? Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. He says. And can I have the usual, please? All right, you guys are wearing out my honka tutor. All right, that's enough honka tutors for a little bit. That's two in the last like two minutes. That's too much honka tooting. Uh, thank you, Lester. Hope you're doing well there, buddy. Been sick the past two weeks. Just got over the flu. Ugh. Well, I'm glad you're uh, getting over it, and feeling better. Hey, Frosty in chat. What's up, David Ayers? What's going on, buddy? Howdy, Frosty. Happy St. Patty's Day. Mr. Lawrence, right back at you, sir. Hope you're doing all right. We're just doing some uh, St. Patty's Day bailing here and on the uh, Valley Spring Irish map. Filling up quick. That right in our way. We need to get these bales all put together anyway. There we go. Got ourselves a little John Deere skid steer. Isn't, isn't she nice? Got a little fine. Uh, let's see. We got Mr. Beetle Betts in here from Australia. What's going on, Mike? From Australia. Uh, UK to Ireland, and it's about one hour on the boat. One hour on the boat. That's not bad. So you could go visit Conor McGregor. It'll only take an hour. That's not bad. Not bad at all. That Mr. Stearman. We got Gumby in the chat. Hello, hello. So 150 bales give us about 5,500 liters per bale. Just enough that this uh, baler or this skid steer can handle it without tipping over. 
any bigger than that, it wouldn't be able to handle it. Yep. Uh, we got Tad Winbig. Jack Whacker 3 for five months as Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah, baby. Draw back at you, Tad. <laughs> and thank you for the five months at level three. You the man. I really do appreciate it, buddy. Um, we got Trucking with Lester coming in with five gifted uh, memberships. My goodness, thank you guys. Coming in hot tonight already. Uh, Trucking with Lester just dropped the $10 super chat. Now he's dropping the five gifted memberships. Uh, it looks like Dave Clan just got one. Sparky, Andrew Ruprecht, Carrie England, and Wayne Deal all getting gifted memberships. How splendid is that? Happy St. Paddy's Day to all you Jack Wackers. There you go. It's almost like Christmas with all the gifted subs. Uh, I am good, thanks. Good, good, good. I just watched Dog watching Kentucky. Oh, is there a basketball game on tonight? Kentucky. All right, we're going to hurry up and get this bail out of the uh, other John Deere's way. Awesome. Suzette, it tells you if you go to my, uh, oh, bumped it, started rolling. If you just go to my page or my channel, Big Rick Frosty Gaming, and go to the membership tab, it tells you what all the benefits are. There's three different tiers. Yeah, go check it out, brother. All right, what do you think of this little John Deere, huh? Thing's funny looking. It's the job done now. Hey, Frosty, got to join in on the trend, he says. Oh, Jacob coming in with the five gifted memberships as well. Uh, thank you so much, Jacob. He, he just gave Trio Gaming, Don Linker, Paul Murphy, Siebert12, and Humble Way Ace all getting gifted memberships from Mr. Ninkstia. He's always dropping gifted uh, memberships in the chat. Uh, thank you, Jacob. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Steerman, grabbing a bite to eat while my daughter sleeps. Got a feeling tonight will be a long night. Yeah, I heard uh, Gumby's daughter not doing too well. His kids have been struggling this month. Sicknesses and just all kinds of things going on. So yeah, get some get some rest, Gumby. Try to try to squeeze in a nap any chance you get. Might be like you said, might be a long night. Let's get back to uh, bailing. Right, we got about four swipes to go. About to pop one out already, right here. Bloop. Right there. Oh, man, I can't keep up. You guys are going crazy. We got Rip Riley. He says running late, but I'm here now. Hey, you're only 27 minutes into the show. We got plenty of time to hang out. Uh, we got ta uh, Tad Wernberg coming in with $10 Super Chat. Says, have a beer on me. That's Tad Wernberg. Well, thank you very much. And happy St. Patty Day to you. Uh, we also got Matthew Lawrence coming in with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you, guys. It's just St. Patty's Day. That's all it is. Nothing too crazy. You guys are acting like it's my birthday or something. Coming in with all the uh, support. Coming in real hot. Uh, thank you for all the gifted subs. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you, guys. I'm eating a Philly cheese, or a Philly cheese from Firehouse, and I'm highly disappointed. Really. I have yet to be disappointed by anything I've gotten from Firehouse subs. I've never had a bad meal there. I don't go there a lot, but when I do, I like get excited about it. I am sorry to hear you got a bad meal. Hmm. Hmm. The good sub maker must have had the day off for St. Patty's Day. You, you got like a part-timer that came in and didn't really know what they were doing. That's my only guess. Because <laughs> usually it's so good there. Welcome, Corey England. 
I turned 36 on the 14th, says Tom Kelly. Oh, a few days ago, huh? Getting old. You're catching up to me. You're catching up, sir. I forget how old I am. I, I seriously, I don't know if I'm 39. I think I turned 39 this year. I'm hoping. I, don't, I, I really don't know. I'm either turning 39 or 40. I gotta ask Miss Frosty. I just, I don't keep track of that stuff anymore. So I'll have to find out from Miss Frosty. Uh, Jessica coming in with the half a year at Jack Wacker level one. Thank you, Jessica. And hope you're uh, feeling decent today, feeling a little better. Mouse is in the chat. Hello, Mouse. That's some sad Irish music. I'm gonna have to change the, the uh, music channel. There's only eight, there were only eight tracks, and it looks like we've already went through all of them. Dang it. Come on, baby. Ah, didn't have enough to make one more bail. All right, there's a little patch up here. I don't know if that'll be enough to finish it. Probably not. Nope, 96%, but we do have another field we'll be cutting later. So it's all good. All right, get the old John Deere off the field here. It's actually not that old of a John Deere. It's actually a more modernized one, I'd say. I just turned 30 this year, says Mr. Landon. Yes, you did. Is that John Deere on the Mod Hub for console? No. No. This was from... Oh, gosh. Ah, crap. I can't remember. This is one of my 3,000 mods I use. First time I've uh, used it on stream, though. It's a John Deere 6410 Power Quad. That's all I know. If I look in my mods here... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Just opened up a big old can of worms, I'll tell you what. Oh, where is she? Where is she? I think... It's the John Deere 6010 series. So Google that. John Deere 6010 series. Pretty sure that's a... I got it from a modder's itch.io. I can't remember who, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, you'll have to look that up. John Deere 6010 series. There she is. It's quite lovely. Uh, John Klassen coming in with the Canadian 279 as well. Thank you, Lottie. There you go. That deserves a honka tutor. Thank you, John. Appreciate you, man. <clears throat> so this field we cut a couple streams ago, and it's already coming in. It's not fully grown, but this is one of many grass fields we have on this map. We're going to leave this one alone. It's still got some growing to do. Oh, dang. Must have been a St. Patty party down the street. Look at all the traffic. <laughs> Yikes. All right, I got to get rid of this music. Ugh, depressing. Yeah, that's depressing music right there. Let's, uh, let's put on some... Do some folk. Some good old folk music right here. Because that's not going to work. <laughs> Sounds like something a snake would be coming out of a bag or whatever that sport is where they play the little recorder. Hula, hula, hula. I don't know what it is. <laughs> da, 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 da. I feel like a cobra's wiggling his head around. I don't know what that is. All right, there we go. A little easier on the ears. There we go. <laughs> oh, let me see. We got... I just got this map. 
the cozy feeling. It is. It's nice and small. Nice cozy feeling going on. I, I love it. It's a good one. So we're going to be knocking out a field down here later tonight. I got to remember how to get into the field. Ow, dang it. We got to get to it through that field. Son of a biscuit head. All right. But we're going to be creating a field later once we get the bale and all finished up. Got a little Austin Powers situation right here. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. All right, I think we got it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, you just got to be patient. That's all. <laughs> uh, ankle charmer or snake church from the Appalachians. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Irish elevator music. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that was. This is much better now. We are in Ireland, so I think we drive on the left side of the road, if memory serves me right. Yep. That answered that question. But yeah, you, you got the perfect name. Cozy. You're right, Tad. Very cozy map. recently cut this field. We're just going to cut across it to uh, get to the one we're going to create later. You from the U.S., says Jacob? Yeah, I live in South Carolina. Good evening, Ian Oppenheim. Hello. You wish you were 30 again, Floyd? Uh, start playing old-time rock and roll. What's up, Raging Skull? How's it going, brother? All right, the darn grass is, like, so thick can't see I, I we're gonna clear this up later just with the weed eater because that's that's horrendous all right let's get back out to the uh the other field and finish up bailing or we did finish up bailing right Just gonna collect bales now. Uh, Frosty, what would you rather have in real life? A brand new W900 day cab or a 2019 John Deere 6R with a front loader? Well, I have no need for either. So I've done the whole trucking thing already. So I'd probably take the tractor. I feel like I could just, you know, have some fun with that. Yeah, I'd take the John Deere. <laughs> Yes, sir. Interesting question, too. Uh, you have Frosty. You are 38. You were born in June of 1984. I'm 39. I was born... Okay, so I'm 38. I'll be 39 this year. <laughs> Thank you for uh, helping me out there. I just I can't remember that stuff. Uh, just don't remember. to get these all in one area so I'm not jumping all over the place. Little top heavy. Hopefully we nose dive going down the hill. Yep, we're good. Nice. We're going to line all these up because we're going to wrap them. We got a pull behind wrapper that's going to cover those all so they can turn into silage. That thick grass looks good. I wish more other maps had it too. <sighs> if I was smart enough, I'm just not, I don't mess with Giants editor. I don't mess with XMLs a whole lot, but I've heard guys that 
they use this kind of grass on all their maps. The smart guys, the ones that know how to go in and just... I don't know if grass is an XML thing or if it's something you got to do in Giants. I have no idea. But yeah, some guys know how to make this grass be on any f map that they use. And if it's an XML thing, I'm willing to figure it out. But if it's a Giants editor, eh, no thanks. I, I don't care for that. I don't have the patience for Giants editor. <laughs> don't have the patience. Yeah, that's some thick grass. Stearman, isn't the grass like this on Leona, Pennsylvania? I think it is. I think it's that high. I know Westby. Westby had the high grass. Both are good money makers. I take the John Deere, says Mambuski. Oh, I can hit that with the weed whacker, uh, Mr. Hoffman. Yep. That with the weed whacker. Is there one more bale up there? Can't remember. Hmm? One more bale. I've been cutting away. I cut two fields today off stream. Like, I was, I was only going to do a little bit and do it on stream, but I was having too much fun, so I ended up cutting, like, two other fields off stream. I'm like, this is too relaxing. I'm just going to keep on going. <laughs> um, Irish snake, snake charmers. Is that what it's called? Snake charmers when they sing them or they play the flute or whatever. <laughs> Chilliwack has this grass. Just started a game on there. This is Rip Rally. Dang, I didn't think I'd get this many bales. It's awesome. Not going to need much silage for a while. There we go. Get our wrapper fired up. Already got a couple set up and ready. John Deere 4020 hooked up to the uh, wrapper. There we go. That big pokey stick scares me a bit. The big pokey stick, it is kind of scary. A little deadly looking, huh? Go. So we only got like that whole row over there to wrap. And then we got the uh, bale trailer sitting over at the farm. We'll bring that over here, get them loaded up, and they'll be ready to rock and roll. You like how I duck when I go under a tree? Like I'm going to actually hit my head? Come on, Frousty. Not gonna hit it. It's a video game, sir. I knew I should have lined those up nicer. Hang it. Made this a lot more difficult on myself. I got enough strength to push these. Just got to give it a little loving. Here we go. Here we know us. Load up. Here we go with the John Deere going to work. That's right. That's right. Nice little wrapper. Oh, 
already tell that one's a little too far forward. Go. Nice little system we got going. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Richard Holland Beck? How's it going tonight, sir? That's wrapping. I'm gonna go grab my weed eater. This is all. Well, actually, we're gonna put lime on all these fields and put some uh, either manure, probably a little of both, manure and slurry to get them all fertilized and. Ready for the next growth stage. Nah. Yeah, that's funny. First person's a little rough, though. Because you can't see the way the body's moving. I gotta see what I'm doing here. There we go. It's just, it's just missing that uh, that high revving sound. I need that, you know. Kind of takes away from the experience. Figure that out. Oh man, Miss Frosty must be making something downstairs. My daughter and her friend are having a sleepover. Something smells good. I can I can smell it. It's it's coming upstairs. The smell it smells very nice. <laughs> Look how tall this grass is. Look, Rex is like almost lost in it. Look at him over here. What you doing, Rex? You coming to find Daddy? Look at him. You're gonna get lost in that stuff. <laughs> uh, what's up, Ann McPherson? Frosty, where can I donate that benefits you the most, a spent farmer? You don't have to, buddy. But if you want to, it's you can do it the way the other guys do, is super chat or a gifted sub, one or the other. But you really, you don't have to, buddy. I never ask for it. All right, we'll clean up along the uh, telephone pole here. Oop. Oh, crap. Only lets me cut so close to the road. There you go. Just want that to look a little cleaner around the actual gate. Leave that sitting there. Got that looking a little tidier now. And got a few more bales to roll, uh, wrap. Uh, how's Ann feeling today? The motor on that weed eater is massive. It's big. It's big, man, basically. <laughs> Caps, I literally was on my phone all day hiding with all four of my co-workers from the boss. It was raining and we didn't work in the rain. Ah, oh, so you're hiding, eh? Didn't want to get wet, eh? I put up shelves for my daughter. I put up shelves for my son a couple weeks ago. Today I put them up for my daughter in her room. <coughs> Set up stream. And then my son had that dance. So I drove him to that. Then I drove to pick up my uh, daughter's friend for the sleepover tonight. Uh, I'm like, even on days they don't go to school, I'm like a carpool. I I'm always driving somewhere. Look at, look at all these bales. Beautiful. Right. All right, everything's wrapped up. 
two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We got about twelve, thirteen bales out of uh, three not very big grass fields. That's uh, close to sixty, seventy thousand liters of silage once it ferments. Very nice. I'm happy with that. See, now I can see where the gate is. Now I have those long weeds hiding it. Uh, what is that? I, like a 800cc twin weed eater? <laughs> it's a mod. That's what it is. But, uh, yeah. It is a mod. There she goes. Might be a little oversized. It looks it looks somewhat real. A little hefty. It works good. That's what I like about it. Alright, we are not gonna need the wrapper again, so I will show you the manual attachment mod we're using from now on. I think I'm gonna use it on all my uh, game saves. It's pretty cool. I'll show you how that works. Get this all parked up. Back here at the house. Uh, we got the baby calves and the mamas. We got to get these three bales unloaded so we can go load up the uh, wrapped bales. Let's drop this. Right over here should work. Just gotta remember to be at an angle or it glitches into the wall. Alright, so I'll show you. You come over here. Uh, first thing we need to do is take off the uh, power lines there. So we're gonna hold Z. And then we'll hit Q to detach manually. Very nice. And if a tractor has a PTO for certain things, you also have to attach and detach that. But pretty cool. Nice little extra thing we got to take care of now. I'll show you right now. Now we got a hook up to the bale trailer. And it doesn't have to be perfectly lined, as long, long as you're like somewhere near it. So we'll hook up. Then we'll hook up the power. All right, it's just not showing the animation, but it is, I did it. Just doesn't wanna show the animation, but yeah, it's ready to go. Ooh. That's a little of a, a low, <laughs> A low hook up there, huh? Might need a different tractor for that. All right. Get these last three bales off of here. Uh, Bradley Simmons coming in with the gifted membership as well. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. Richard Hollenbeck is the receiver of the gifted membership from Bradley Simmons. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. Also coming in with the $2 Super Chat as well. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you, man. Uh, if you turn the mulcher part of the John Deere Batwing on, you can mow ditches and around the farm, and it won't leave cut grass on the ground. It looks clean. It does, Rip. It does. I use it all the time. Uh, I don't even know how to gift a sub. YouTube makes it. Don't even worry about it, Fent. Don't even worry about it, brother. Yeah, it's, it's no big deal at all. You just enjoy the show, all right? all I ever ask is to uh, enjoy the content maybe hit the like button that's easy has anybody done that yet how many likes we got 89 likes getting close to the 100 smack it if you like what you see all right and don't make fun of my mess of uh, bales in here <laughs> it looks horrible it doesn't look too hot but it gets the job done so 
we're actually going to make a mix of TMR. So I'm going to leave this out here. So we'll probably need that. All right, can I lift that or anything? That looks horrible. That is that is almost too low. I don't know if that's going to work. That, that's a little too low of a connection there. Ooh. Trailer's doing a little hifty whipty whipty. Oop, wrong button. Dang it. Come on, Frosty. Jeez. Uh, glitched, it glitched into the ground. Not good. There we go. <clears throat> the wheel glitched in the ground because this was trying to hook it too low. We'll have to use a different tractor. Um, I don't even know if the Massey would be a good one for that. I think it's more Google won't because they'd have to pay Apple a cut. I am good. A little bit of pain and will pass. I'm good otherwise. Good. Thinking positive. Good, good, good. <laughs> we'll hook up to this bad boy. I know he can handle it. All right. So here's an example. We got the uh, PTO. So we're going to disconnect that. Going to disconnect the power lines. And then we'll... Unhook. There you go. And that may have done the same thing the last trailer did. Nope, that's good. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that. I can't believe it took me this long to use manual attach. I think people have mentioned it before, and I'm like, eh, yeah, it sounds all right. I just never realized it was that cool. Pretty. I like it. A lot of extra hands-on to stuff to do to hook it up. This should work a lot better. Yep. Yep, power lines. Nice. Much better. Much better. let's put both of these in the garage and just leave that last straggler out. What's up, Jay Smith? How's Jay doing today? Uh, I have a question, says Lee. The gooseneck autoloader not working for me. Any suggestions? Gooseneck autoloader. I, I, that could be any trailer, buddy. There's so many auto load trailers that are gooseneck. Uh, you got to be more specific. I have no idea. Um, but check your key binds. Maybe you need to make some key binds for auto load. I, I have no idea. That's, that's you got. You got to give me more. You got to give me more info there. Yeah, there's there's many many gooseneck gooseneck trailers out there. I like this little massy skid steer. Love it. This is the one I use on the uh, survival series, only it's yellow. Got it painted massy red tonight. Got to be hooked up to something. Oh, I bet you it does. With manual attach, I bet that has to be hooked up to another tractor. Uh -huh. Didn't think of that. Didn't think of that. All right, so we'll come back to that later. Do you have draw bar mod? No. 
Nope. You mean like a draw bar attachment? Is that what you're talking about? I've, I've used it before on certain tractors, and that would have been a good situation to use one in. I know what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I have it installed on this map. Yeah, there's a little draw bar mod that you can attach to tractors like the John Deere back there that would have leveled out. You can control the height. So we would have been able to pull this trailer. Yeah. I'm getting dizzy. We'll just set up somewhere over here. There you go. That'll work. 30 inch flatbed auto loading square bale trailer. Uh, try, try hitting control shift. Oh, crap. Control, control, shift, control, left control, left shift, R. That should activate picking them all up as you drive by. Let's try that, but I, like, I, 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 I don't know. That's the best I can say. Doing pretty good, went back to work Wednesday, and now I'm off for the weekend, says Jay. Come on, ain't nothing wrong with that. John Deere, don't tip over on me. Would have been better if these were sitting on the field upright. That's all right. I'll be able to fit another one on the other side or not. Oh, no. That's not even going to fit next to that one. I'll give it a little nudge. There we go. Too shabby. Hello, Frost in chat. Hello, Gary McGee. What's going on there, mate? Ah. Not going to work. We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> We're going to load it like that. Just make sure we strap it down good. all we're doing is crossing the street uh, does this trailer have straps on it yeah you can strap afterwards or as you go yes sir we'll see if we can double stack on the other side maybe should be able to Doesn't look too good, does it? Ah, dang it, man. It's all right. Ah, it will fit. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Try to double stack this on the other side. Yeah. 
Drop that marshmallow like a time. That'll work. And we got, what, four more to load up? I can put three on the trailer and just carry the last one over. <laughs> Gators are the best sunglasses in the world. Gators? What are they? All right, let's bring this back over. Some peaceful music right there. 44,000 liters uh, loaded up. Right. Bit through there just right. Think chat. Pretty impressed, aren't you? I know. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy the things I know how to do. Pretty insane. I didn't think we'd get all of them on the one trailer, but it's working in our favor. What's up, Malachi? Malachi, I haven't seen you in here in ages. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, it worked for the auto loader, says Lee. Ah, very nice. Just remember, you can hit the same combo again to turn it off. So once you pick them all up, hit Control Shift, Shift R again, and it'll turn off that. And then they'll once you come to a stop, everything will strap. And then you should be able to just unload left or right when you get to your destination. So you must be using the one I was using last night, it sounds like. The one I had hooked up to the, uh, the Ford. I'm glad it works for you now. Can you test something for me, Lee, since you're using it at this moment? Can you let me know if when you get out of the vehicle and you're walking by that trailer, does your game lag like crazy? Do you get a lot of lag? I want to I want to find out if I'm not the only one. That's the uh, Mack Trucker 30-foot uh, auto bale flatbed trailer. Yeah, we'll just carry this one over to the house. Jaker Pete. Jaker Pete's got his shorts on at St. Patty's Day. He's going to follow me across the street. It's going to be a jolly good time. All right, 54,500 liters plus the one behind us. That's 60,000 liters of uh, wrapped grass, which will eventually be our silage bales for TMR. Too shabby. <laughs> there he goes. There's Jake or Pete. I don't want to get. I don't want to get him in a T-bone situation. Oh yeah, we got some cross traffic. Dang it. He's gonna get knocked out by that John Deere going down the road. <laughs> oh yep, he just got T-bone. Sorry, Jaker. I just got him ran over by a car. Poor guy. Make sure he's all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I got uh, Irish, Irish insurance. Poor guy. Oh yeah, he left. 
Ambulance already took him away. Lucky gone. He ain't in there anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Well, that was a short-lived little uh, job for Jake or Pete. Traffic go by here. Uh, down goes one seed Purdue, 16th seed Fairlade Dickinson shocks the Boilmakers. You never know. College basketball, you just never know what's going to happen. Woo! I just got almost sent to the hospital. <laughs> Dang. Alrighty. Traffic needs to slow down. I might have to uh, talk to the city council. Be like, uh, hey, can we at least put down a slow down sign in my neck of the woods? I mean, come on, mate. Guy just slingshot my bail up the road. Hang on, Bobby. More like he fled the scene, probably been drinking. St. Patty's Day. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised, huh? Whew. Just enough room to get in. All right, we're actually going to let these stay connected to the trailer. They need to ferment for a while. We're in no, no rush to get them unloaded, so. Parking down yonder. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Not bad. Got everything off the fields at least. Uh, what's up, Adam Small? How are you tonight, sir? Yeah, I'm lagging on it a little. It was when you walk by it. All right. So I'm not the only one. Gotcha. Thank you for uh, checking that out, buddy. Yeah, every time I walk by that thing, I get all bad lag. Well, you guys probably noticed last night. Every time I walked by that trailer, it got a little nasty. All right, let's get this stuff driven over to the next area. got in there. What does that look like? Hmm. Kevin Flores. Eh, I don't know if that looks like Kevin, but we'll just say it's Kevin. All right, Kevin. See if he gets T-boned on the way home. We got one more section to uh, cut, and now we're heading to that field I was talking about at the beginning of the show, where we're going to plow it after we cut the grass and turn it into a actual. Oh crap! Just ran over the dog. We'll turn it into an actual crop field. Looking good that way. Looking good that way. He's going to get T-boned. I can feel it. No way he's going to make that turn. Yep. 
All right, we'll leave him stuck over there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Kevin. He couldn't even make that turn. But yeah, that's Kevin. <clears throat> and I went the wrong way. Oh, I was supposed to go all the way around. Son of a fart head. Ugh. I keep forgetting how to get there, chat. There's only like two turns I need to make and I keep scrubbing up. All right, we're supposed to head down this road. I got the worst memory. I literally just drove down here like, what, a half hour ago and I already forgot. It's getting bad, chat, it's getting bad. <clears throat> and now we're just missing our lawnmower. Which is right over here. If it wasn't for all these fences. There's just no entrance, so we got to... We can only go a certain way. I do have a field of uh, wheat that I need to finish seeding over there. No way I'm getting out of there. Gosh. There's just not enough room on this map. If you want like a challenge, uh, play this map chat, Valley Spring. It is small. If you like using your big equipment, then don't download this map. It's for small equipment only. What's up, Watchdog? Evening Frosting Chat, go Big Blue, he says. The Gantz family is here, hello. See, not my fault, just follow me, says Kevin. Uh, what is up with the sleepy music? RK, it just keeps switching around on me tonight. I don't know. There's a couple good tracks, and then you get the sleepy tracks. I don't know, I'm trying to keep everybody calm, because they had a rough St. Paddy's Day. But you're right, it's a little, it's a little drowsy tonight. Do you have any requests? Is there any music requests, like style of music? Peace. We won says Watchdog. Was it a pretty good game? All right, the last thing back to where we need to be is the first thing we need, which is this, the, the lawn mower. <laughs> I wanna go grab the weed eater, then we'll have everything and start getting back to work. Upbeat. That made me happy, Kevin. Country says do in. Well, this is close to country. This is folk. This is the folk channel. Country, country. But look at this setup we got. Look at that. The workhorses are all ready. All right, one second. He says rap crap. <laughs> they have that. All right, there we go. There's some country. All right, what was I doing? I need the weed eater. The weed eater. And instead of carrying it all the way over, let's fire up the Jeep, strap it to the top of the Jeep. That'll save us carrying it all the way back. Jeez. 
Jeez. Be able to smack it right up here. <laughs> <laughs> Might look a little silly, but hey, it's it's there. Strapped down, we're good to go. <laughs> That'll work. Oh yeah, we gotta be on the left side of the road. My bad. My bad. Nice Jeep Polka. Yeah, the Polkas. Yeah. No thanks. Uh, what's up, Mr. Fireslime? Yeah, we've been bailing like crazy tonight. Made about 60,000 liters worth, which is a lot on this map, of uh, silage bales. <laughs> I forgot it did that. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. They? They? Can you know, we do a Carolina squat? No, I can't lean it one way to the other. Whee! I forgot it did that. Alright, straps off. And let's get weight eating. Uh, what in tarnation? Uh, hey, Frosty, have you heard of the 2022 TLX update? Yes. Yep. By 82 Studio. Uh, drinking and having a good time. Have a great stream. All right. Go get crunk. Crazy old man. Weed eater is activated. It's going to clear up a nice little path. Get to the fence line here. That looking nice and dandy. <laughs> that Jeep was bouncing. River dance. Yeah, the Jeep was doing the river dance. stinking grass right there. Peace. Noise? I just wish it did the me I'm gonna have to like make my own noises. How's that? Since the uh, since the modder didn't give us good uh, sounds for this mod, I gotta make them up myself. <laughs> oh, now we got a restring. We ran out of string. We all know how that goes. Do I have headlights? Ah, no headlights. Dang it. Next update, he needs to uh, install headlights on this thing. <laughs> we need high grass like that on console. Wouldn't that be nice? It is pretty cool. All right, that should be good enough. Just wanted to clean it up a little bit. Let's get to work. Let's uh, cut the grass first. Now that we have an entryway in here. No wonder I couldn't find how to get to this field. You can't see through the high grass. Now oh, it's all nice and pretty. Barely enough room to squeeze through the fence line. Jeez. Oh, 
So this field is a little bigger, and that's why I want to turn it into a uh, an arable field. What are those cows out there? Are those my cows out there? Those might be my cows out in the distance. I didn't know they had a hangout place way out down yonder. How'd I do on the sound effects? <clears throat> I think those are my cows. They must go out there to hang out. Interesting. That's cool. I did not know that. That's a pretty lawn cut right here. Right along the uh, river bank. Very nice. What's up, Chumpy? Evening Frosty, happy Friday, happy St. Patty Day. Right back at you, Daddy. Right back at you. <clears throat> Man, that is some thick grass. <laughs> Holy crap. Super thick. It's like a tunnel. <laughs> Making, uh, hey McKay, have a great day, says Chumpy. What, is Deep Creek heading out? Yeah, right. Any early access with the new DLC? No. No. Not that I know of. I haven't heard. Nobody told me about it. <laughs> now, but it comes out in four days. 21st. my mic. Sorry about that. That made a noise. I apologize. Let's hit it with my fist. Never seen grass like that. Won't work on my old PC. It's too old. Ah, uh, Bally Spring. Yeah, this map has this type of grass. Uh, so does Westby, Wisconsin. grass gets fairly long on Ashton Corners. Not this long, but it, it gets it gets kind of high. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Nope. It just, it's just regular grass on Ashton. That bice dragon. What's up, buddy? Uh, Carson Romare, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Carson Romare. Tuesday. Are oh, you talking with somebody else? <clears throat> Jeremy, Jeremy says, not good. No. What happened? What's wrong with Jeremy? I'm missing conversations, I think. Teardown? Yeah, I never got into the teardown. A little too pixelated, the graphics. It just wasn't... A lot of people play it, but I just couldn't make myself play that one. I hear it's good, though. A lot of people enjoy it. I'm just not one of them. That is just a knocking that grass down, huh? So might as well take a take, take advantage of the grass before we plow. 
I want to take one little time out and go visit these cows because that is awesome. I did not know they were over here. The heck? This little road leads to my farm. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is like... No, this is something different. I don't own this. Yeah, I don't own this, I don't think. Yeah, these 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 cows are owned by someone else. That's cool. So eventually I could uh, invest in this plot of land and own these cows, I guess. That's cool. Did not know that. So you can water and feed them. Just the little baby calves. Nice. Did not know that was back here. Yo, Frosty, how's it going? What's up, Anton Schofield? What's up, Mr. Schofield? How are you, laddie? It's knocking down this grass. Lots of it. So tonight, we cut two fields on this stream. I think I cut two fields off stream. So four fields have been cut today on this map. Chopping it all down. Stayed in the house, rain and cold here, watched basketball all day. Sounds like uh, a day my son would enjoy. He's, he should be home, he should be home in about 20 minutes from the dance. Like Miss Frosty went to pick him up. Well, I hope she did, because I can't, I'm streaming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not too bad. Just busy on my map making of where I grew up. Ooh, where's that at? That's pretty cool. How's that going? Very nice. Get to the frosty drone. Rally car mod. Has anybody ever played my summer car? Ooh. That was interesting. Took me forever to build that car. And then I never played it again after I built it. I took it for a drive. I was like, yeah, that was cool. Never played it again. <laughs> My summer car. I played that back when it first came out. It's been out for quite a while. I don't know how many years. Maybe three, four years now. Maybe older. I don't know. Steerman. Steerman, have you ever played My Summer Car? I could see you maybe enjoying that. The car part of it. Like building the car and then tuning it, getting it right. It's it's very in-depth on all that. My Summer Car wasn't the best, but I love Junkyard Car and Mon Bazoo. Junkyard Car. Is that the one with the pickup truck? Start out with the pickup. That one I haven't tried. Mon Bazoo, I played a little bit. I couldn't get into that either. But uh, the junkyard one, isn't that a pickup truck you start with? Is 
This is like perfect for the frosty drone. At the time, my summer car was fun. The permadeath aspect was too much, though, I know. Yep, you die and the game is over. Such is life. It was too realistic. But not really. You got hit by a car and you're still here. They need to give you a little more forgiveness on that game. Yeah, that was frustrating. Gas station simulator. Yeah, I played the crap out of that. Pretty much mastered that one. There's not really anything else to do. This is going to be a good field for uh, a crop. I need a money crop. Something that's going to bring in the big bucks. So we'll take a look at the menu. We, we do play with seasons on, on this map. So, yeah. If there's nothing that's worth planting, we'll probably wait until it's a better month to put something profitable in the, in the field. gonna make a lot of bales too. Whew. I think I was gonna make hay bales, right? It's a lot of stinking hay. Chase. I might sell it. Maybe we'll sell these hay bales on this field. Because we don't have a whole lot of money. Make a little extra cash. Got to grow them big weeds. Uh, what town did you shop in? Oh, you're talking to Deep Creek. Big Frosty, will you give this to all who farm on 24-7 days farming? Will I give what? What do you mean? Will I give this 24... What do you, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean. stretch. Dang. I didn't realize this field was this big. Wow. Did not realize that. Oh, seeds. How many bales do you think we can get out of this field alone? It's pretty darn big. Could you imagine baling all those little strips? <clears throat> We're gonna win row it for sure get a little bit dizzy. I'm already getting a little dizzy just cutting it. <laughs> Were they modded stock trailers? 17. Really? That's it? You might be right. 150 rounds. Yeah, you might be right. All right, final cut. That'll be it for grass cutting tonight. <laughs> Boom. trim with the weed eater what we didn't catch right there by the gate. Let's 
So it makes, if you listen real closely, you'll hear it make a sound when you turn it on. Then it stops. Very sad. There we go. Through grass cut makes everything better. 21 says Jimmy. 23 says Abraham. That's what I was thinking. Like maybe 20, 20 something. Low 20s. Like 20, I'll say 22. That's going to be my guess. 20 T bales. bit of wind rowing you know what no we're gonna take a time out from grass work i've got to finish planting this field over here there's not much left like three or four swipes otherwise i'm gonna forget all about it <laughs> so here's another new tractor i added to the fleet we have a massey 3690 uh, i believe that is on the mod hub i think I could be wrong. I can't remember. It's very nice, though. And then we got a nice little massy cedar on the back. MF-326. It's a little smaller than the John Deere one a lot of people use, which I wanted. But it still doesn't fit through the darn gate. But the cool thing is, see this wheel here? You can unfold those wheels and pull and get through little tight areas. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm sure the PTO's hooked up here. I think it is. Doesn't look like it is, but it says it is. All right, gal. Frosty, there was a shed update today on ModHub VD1 storage. It works like the new one Giants brought out, but holds 800, and you can drive into it, and it works on consoles. Yes, I used that um, on a couple maps, actually, and I did notice there was an update. Uh, let me see. Start a poll on how many bales. I, I can't. It only lets you put four options. Yeah, it only lets you put four options. Stopping by to say hi and bye. Frosty and chat, hope everyone's having a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Vanderford. Hit that like on the way out, laddie. That goes for anybody else that hasn't hit the like button. Give it a little spanky, spanky, spanky. Yeah, you know, just hit it. Hit it if you would like. 14, I say more than 10, less than 50. All right, that's a good guess, John. That's a good guess. More than 10, but less than 50. If Stevie was feeling better, I thought he might like this combo, but I don't think he's here tonight. He's still uh, not feeling too hot. But he's a big uh, Massey fan. Got a sharp interior. Go. Come on, baby. You can do it. Uh, see you later, Gantz family. Have a good one. Happy St. Patty Day. All right, see? That's all we had to do there. All right, now this is the weird part. Because because I have the attached thing, I don't know if this will work. If 
folding is not allowed while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. Okay. I understand. I understand that. All right, so we're gonna disconnect all that. All right, now I guess we're gonna try to... I don't know. Hook up over here. I don't know. I've never, uh, I ain't never tried this. this is going to work or not. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't able to figure out how to get it into the field either. I don't know if the uh, attach manual attach mod makes it not work. Kind of stinks. Means I'm not going to be able to get this out of here. <laughs> That's what that means. Dang it. they bring back Lone Oak. He sent me a picture earlier. Cough syrup, cough drops, and halls. Hope they work for him soon. Yeah. Poor guy. Hope he feels better. But yeah, I don't really know how to get out of here. I don't know how to unfold that. Let me fold it. That kind of defeated the purpose. Fold cedar. Folder is not a bit. Well, well, you know, you got to let me do it. You got to. Oh. I, I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I figured it out. Let me get it out. Mm -hmm. Holding, but 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 I still can't. Uh... Mm. All right, so we got that part figured out. Now what? Almost there. We're so close to figuring this out. Is the mass a European? I don't know. That's a good question. Finally catching a live stream. I always watch your VODs in the morning after work. Well, thanks, Jake. Thanks for hopping in, mate. What's up, Monica? Thank you for hitting the like. Has anybody used this before? What am I doing wrong? So, that is folded up, which I think is, we did that right. Got one thing figured out. Now I need to, uh, I, I don't know. Try. It's got. It's got to be over here. Because the back wheels, you would pull back on the other side. There's got to be a way to do this. Mm -mm -mm. Can't figure it out, Mike. I feel like we were so close because we we were able to fold that up, which is a start. Does the hitch come off the planter, then attach to the to the wheel side? I don't know. If it does, it's not letting me do it. I've used these type before, but I've never used them with manual attach mod. I think that might be messing around with this because it has like a two-step procedure. Ah, that'd be 
I wish I could get it to work, though. Cool. Dying it. So it's connected right now, even though it's not. It is because we got that folded up. It won't let me do anything else. Uh, I don't know. Uh, loving that MF setup. Looks beautiful, just like that handsome dude in the bottom left. Oh, oh, what? Me? Now why? There should be a way to lower those wheels that's folder, that folder. I know. Well, I, that, I had it working, sort of. I think it has to do with this manual attachment. I really do. I think that's what the problem is. Thank you, uh, thank you, Stevenson. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling all right? Feeling a little better? It, it's just not, it's not working. Dang it. And it doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna work. Very sad. It won't fold. That's all right. Hey, we tried. At least we tried, right? Um, and this this is the reason I want it to work because we can't get through here. <laughs> Ugh. So I'll have to mess around with it off stream and figure it out sometime. Dang it. Wouldn't it be cool if it worked though? That'd be so nice. Wouldn't that just be lovely? Why is my guy over here? All right, my guy is sitting on the back of the cedar. Oh, okay, things are getting weird now. the weirdest thing ever. So confused. Why is my guy sitting back here? <laughs> Does it need another attachment you can buy? Ooh, good thinking. Good thinking. Uh, very good thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Maybe it does. You might be right. Combinations. You're absolutely right. Mm -mm -mm. You smarty pants. That's it. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Who said that? Lucas Alling, you are a smart son of a gun. Just wanted you to know that. All right, let's let's rewind. Let's pretend that we didn't do that, and we're back over here. <laughs> All right, let's pretend this. Let's unhook. And let's buy that attachment. Good thinking. So I don't think we need that. We just need this. Because those those wheels unfold. We're just going to buy the coupler. $800. Nice and cheap. And we should be able to attach that to one of the sides of the wheel. Think. Maybe. Well, don't really know. I said it says Adam. Did you? It's probably the operator. No. Oh, crap. That means I'm going to have to manually attach this. This is getting intense. I don't know if I can handle all this.
Getting a little too crazy. <laughs> Look at that. My goodness. Ooh, and it's adjustable. So now we should be able to back up, hook up to the wheel while we want to be on the other side because that's opposite side. Hello, Frosty. What's up, Brian Brodeer? Uh, interesting. This is why I like Frosty. His, <laughs> I was almost ready to give up. I'm glad we uh, hung in there. So is this a man? Yep, look at that. But now, can we unfold? I got I got to figure out how to get the stinking wheels unfolded. That's that's the main problem. It won't let me do the darn wheels. Folding is not allowed while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. Well, then how that how do I get it unfolded? That's that's what's throwing me for a loop here. Oh, that's that. I don't know how to get those little wheels unfolded. You're going to hate the manual attach feature soon. <clears throat> Happy Paddy's Day. You too, Glengar boy. All good. It's 2 a.m. here in Ireland. Well, it's going to be 2 a.m. here in America by the time I figure this out. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, now we look like one of those Indian, Indonesian farmer videos where they got their speakers going and they're... What in the crap is going on here yeah all right that it's probably not supposed to be happening right now all right we got we got goodness gracious you liking the map i love it this is uh episode five of uh streaming on this map but i uh, got got some new equipment tonight and just trying to figure it out <laughs> it's, it's giving me a run for my money something just seems off I gotta figure out how to get those darn wheels unfolded. You gotta unfold the little wheels to be able to uh, pull it the other way. It's just hopping around like crazy. got to figure this out. I need the darn wheels right here to unfold. Let's do it already. <sighs> Manual attach is garbage. I like it. Manual put wheels down. It, it won't let me. It, there's no option to do that. It's not there. Every time I try to fold or unfold, it says you can't while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. Well, how the heck do you do it then? I don't stink a net. There's no other hookups anywhere. It's being, it's being really stinky is what it's being.
All right, so look at this. I can lift this up. I understand that. That's great. But I can't do anything with the stinking wheels. Like, it won't let you. And why would you need those other wheels to try the other side? What do you mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Unhook over here. I know what you mean. Maybe you do need that other dumb piece. Really? I hope not. That's a lot of pieces for one little cedar. Um, so there is this little piece. But that's just that's just silly. I, I bet you we do need that. So the what those those other wheels are pointless. That must be what it is. I got to pay twenty five hundred dollars for that. So here's here's the <laughs> that's dumb. All right, here we go. This is all I can think of right here. So we folded that up. Mm. Yeah. So here's here's what I'm thinking how you would do this. It's the only way I can think that it works. I didn't stink it now. We'll hook up this end right here. So weird, huh? You don't? That's for running two at once. That's what I figured. But I'm, I'm just running out of ideas here. I really am. So I'm going to attach it here. Yeah, ain't going to let me do that. But what the stink butt? Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea frustration is settling in enter vehicle all right so you you can get on this which is weird but again it won't let me do anything maybe with this disconnected it'll let me hold this <laughs> attach a tool attach tooled vehicle with a turned on motor won't well, flip and no crap that is exactly what I'm doing right now. It's connected to a tractor with power. But then you say I'm not allowed to stink and fold it. Hi, RJ. When you connect to the planter, press G to select the planter. Okay. Can I, can I, eh? One second. Stevie acting like acting like he know it all. See? It still ain't working, Stevie. <clears throat> Disable manual attach in the settings. Ah, can you do that in the settings? I didn't know that. I thought you had to go deactivate the mod. Well, you're just now telling me that? Goodness. Can you really do that? Oh, where's that going to be under? Dusty lands. Oh, my goodness. Nobody told me you could do that. Oh my goodness. Still doesn't work. Old cedar. <laughs> you dirty python face. 
Oh my gosh. <clears throat> open cover that's just for that my mind uh, what's up ghost man there's bugs no there's not you turn it off and back on again on and off hold holding is not allowed while the tool is attached it's still all right now we can uh, drive around and see if it'll let me attach somewhere else I don't stink it now the weirdest thing ever They sure made it difficult, that's for sure. That doesn't work. Go attach to that. Attach to this. Let's see if it'll unfold. You stupid little butthole. All right. Holy crap. How long did that take? Chase! All that for that. Holy macaroni and salad and vomit in a little plastic bag. All right, we got it. It finally worked. Holy... Whew, my goodness. All right, well, it's doing the old wiggle wiggle. It's still kind of weird, but we got it to work. <laughs> Jeez. Holy crap. All right, let's fill up some seed. And we're out of solid fertilizer. I think I used it all. Let me double check this over here. <laughs> Three days later. Ooh, there is solid fertilizer still sitting here. All right, that'll work. Should we uh, show you how to unfold it, chat? <laughs> no. That's going to be the... Ooh, wow. He's wiggly. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, okay. A little more control when you uh, lower it. There we go. Sort of. Not really. That was the weirdest situation I think I've had on this game. And it's just all over the place. It's not very good at backing up. It doesn't want to back up at all. Yeah, it's 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 a one way only type of thing. What in the flip flap? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. What a hot mess, huh? Weird. I, ca I can't even move. Couldn't even move. <clears throat> this is weird. This is like, this is so weird. It's like the oddest mod. I think that might be one of the weirdest mods I've ever used. Can you hook up from the other end? Tow it from the other end. Try from the other end, says Gary. <laughs> I, I did. No. Yes. That would be better. I know what you mean. Yes, that's probably how we should be doing it. 
and I'm gonna do that. I just gotta get this out of the way. <coughs> I know, I know what I'm doing. Playing my first rodeo. I do this all the time. Jeez. I was just seeing if anybody would notice that I was hooked up to the wrong side, that's all. I was just seeing how long it would take for someone to say, try the other side. I know what, I, I know what I'm doing. See? See? I know what I'm doing. Look at that. Looks a little more legit. I told you. I just seen if anybody noticed. Uh, the wheel in the neck is stopping it from backing up. WD-40, you are absolutely right. My brain was screaming at you so bad. Me too, Leonard. I was just waiting to see. Attach tractor to side opposite of the wheel. Exactly, Samurai. I was just seeing if anybody else knew that that's how it's done. Because Van Booski, he was probably sitting there like, yeah, he doing it right the first time. He's like, it just bounces like that a little bit. You'll get, It'll get better. So yeah, I knew what I was doing. <coughs> uh, John McKinley, you have to attach to the other end to tow. Uh, John, I think I knew that. <laughs> I mean, come on. Thank, thanks for the reminder. But I really was just, you know, trying to see if anybody knew how to do it. Because I, I already knew. I already knew what I was doing. I was just seeing if anybody else knew. Glad we got that all figured out. Thank you, John. All right, let's get this parked up. What a lovely uh, cedar. I really like that. It's very nice. I like the way it's set up. Very cool. Wasn't that fun? That was fun. We'll drop that there. Ooh, having a hooking, hooking party. <laughs> And we'll drop that right there. That was fun. Um, I'm excited to try that again next time. That'll be that'll be a lot of fun. Good stuff. Quite enjoyable. Glad I got to experience that. Alrighty. Where were we? I don't even know what we were doing. I'm so. I, that just took so much time to illustrate and show you all how it worked. I forget what else I was doing. You just wanted my $5, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I was just waiting for someone to send a super chat to tell me how to make it work. Oh, WD, I tell you, I tell you. All right. My goodness, that was, that was rough. That was pretty rough. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't even feel like uh, wind rowing that grass at the moment. I just kind of want to go spread some turds and relieve some stress. What do you think, chat? Turd spreading time? I think that sounds like a plan. Whew, that was rough. <clears throat> uh, you was bailing, says Jimmy. Yeah, I, I don't think I can handle bailing at the moment. I'm going to go drop some uh, manure down and maybe get back to the bailing after that. <laughs> Need to clear my mind with some poo spreading. Right, so we'll just start with this field first. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll work from this way out. There you go. Inside out, I guess. Be a little poop on the utility pole. <laughs> Splatter right on it. I 
haven't had I've had issues on farm sim but that might be one of my top 10 uh, rough moments of trying to figure that crap out that was hardcore right there now I can't even see my what I'm spreading here Just get the poo out, frosty time, flush. That's right. That's right. Uh, Gary Snotty. Thank you so much, buddy. Gary says, good job, Frosty. I don't, I don't know if I did a good job, but you all did by yelling at me, telling me how to do it. <laughs> took me it took me too long to notice everybody saying, use the other side. I was slacking. My bad. My bad. Uh, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. Mr. Gary Snowday. And happy uh, St. Paddy's to everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. We're on Bally Spring, which is by Irish Connor. It's an Irish style map. And uh, we've been mainly making lots of bales tonight. Cutting grass and chilling out, man. so hard to see what I'm doing. There we go. There's one field done. That's 42%. We'll head over and cover the next one. Uh, we also got Scott Pentland coming in with seven months at Jack Wacker level three. It says evening frosty and chat. How's it going? Good. Everything's been going super smooth, Scott. We've had zero issues. Um, I just got done working with a really nice massy uh, cedar. It was, it was awesome. The way it folded up was amazing. I wish I could show you, but we already did that. But yeah, good night. Going very smooth. Struggle bus is real tonight. It says, hey. We figured it out. You guys figured it out. I just finally read the comments and fixed it. All right. So we're getting those nitrogen levels up. Just about to run out. We are empty right about now. Yep. There we go. Head back to the house. Not really much manure left over there, so I'll probably just switch over to slurry uh, next time. <laughs> Let's all hit. Thank you, WD. <clears throat> Uh, need more, says Mouse. Let me see. We got Scott Pentland coming in with the five gifted subs as well. Looks like Jimmy Cox, Cameron Mitchell, Mike Carlson, Dan Dak, and Fabio Botaholo. Fabio, I haven't seen you in a while. And I butcher your last name. <laughs> Fabio Botaholo. I, I don't know. I'm just calling you Fabio. I, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess it up. But uh, congrats to you all getting your gifted memberships from Scott Pentlin from Australia. Oh, whew. they drive way too fast on this road. That's that's scary. Way too fast. That's a struggle bus just didn't express run through the farm there, I know. That's right. <laughs> Alright, we'll get backed into the manure pit. Let's get a good whiff of this. <sighs> no way I'm making that. Go 
go. Jace. Just think if uh, farm sim was only first person view, I'd be in some trouble. I might not like it as much if it was only first person view. <laughs> that would be rough. Oh, what the heck am I stuck on? Come on. Jace, help me. Help me, Rhonda. Jiminy Christmas. I think we're struggling like the, the longer the stream goes, the more the struggle continues. All right, let's get a refill of turds. Maybe there is enough turds to do a refill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whole nother, a whole nother trailer load. Take it. I thought you were about to try out the new fire mod out on that cedar. <laughs> yeah. Set it on fire. Huh? <clears throat> now, now that I have it figured out, I like it. Because, oh, gosh. That was the whole purpose of uh, using that. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. Come on, car. Get out of my way. The old turd head. Nice. I just want to get over to my field and spread some manure. Holy moly. I've fallen and I can't get up, says Joe. As long as you listen to the chat, you will not struggle. Uh, you're, you're right. You are right. The chat usually has the right answer. You're not even kidding there. but I'll still figure somehow to jack it up. <laughs> All right, where the heck were we on these turds? So hard to see, huh? So we got this big hill to climb. And that's kind of wasting the turds. I should have just went to the top of the hill, went down. Come on. <laughs> Precision farming though, it shouldn't matter. Hard to see. Hard on old Frosty's eyes. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, 82% left for the uh, final field in the back here. Uh, we got Kevin Flores also coming in with his 20 questions. Let's see what the 20 questions are tonight. We said, Frosty, have you ever played basketball with the wife? Yes, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Are your parents retired? No. Well, my mother doesn't work. And my dad still works. Yes. Have you ever been on a cruise? One. Uh, what's your favorite thing about South Carolina? That it's not Ohio. <laughs> How's that? How's that for an answer? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 20 questions with Kevin Flores. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> is Gumby, in Gumby we trust, he says. What did Gumby say? Did he give me the right answer, too, and I wasn't paying attention? Just watching Fry. What's up, Cameron Mitchell? What's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm a struggling. The last hour has been a little bit of a struggle. Oh, gosh. Barely moving up this hill. Got my little checklist. Um, the uh, organizer mod. That's nice. That saves me from having to write things down when I set up a stream. The work calculator mod. Pretty cool. It's 
especially with the amount of maps I use. I can just go into the work calculator and look at what I didn't do or what needs done. Son of a biscuit. You know what? I forgot to buy the uh, the precision farming. Oh my gosh. That better still give me what I need though. Yeah, I gotta buy it one more time. Son of a... Okay, it worked. Alright, so it still worked. Good, good, good. Making sure it didn't waste my uh, manure I just threw down. 20 questions with Kevin. <laughs> uh, Rip Riley also dropping the $10 super chat. Thank you very much, Rip Riley. Way to stay calm and get it done for all state. That's right. Usually, I don't. <laughs> How many times have I given up on a mod? Like, if I can't figure it out, I'm just like, ah, sell it. Sell it and try something different. I, I've done it many times. So if it wasn't for uh, everybody helping me figure that out, it would have been another mod that I would have sold and uninstalled. Are you having problems with the new patch loading games? Mm, I'm not, no. Everything seems to be working good for me. Yeah, a couple people have been mentioning it's giving them problems. What's up, Pouto? He says, stay calm. Yes. I had a very heated moment on Farming Simulator. Things were getting crazy, Pouto. Very crazy. Almost as if someone was hacking. On my farm. Hacking the situation and making it harder for me. <laughs> we had a farm hacker. That's what happened. I got farm hacked. How's Podo doing tonight? Welcome to the show, laddie. Oh, he would have. He would have had a. Podo would have enjoyed watching my struggling there. That, he likes that kind of stuff. You're here lurking. Nice. Are you Call of Duty'd out? Holy cow. You played a lot of uh, Call of Duty today. I guess I can't say nothing. I play a lot of farming every day. But yeah, I saw you this morning, then you were live again. Just a Call of Duty maniac. Let's see if we can safely get through here. What's up, Frosty and Chat? What's up, Charlie Van Nest? Thank you again, Rip Riley. Appreciate you, brother. Kevin Flores, Scott Pentland, Gary Snorde, Mr. McKinley. Thank you for uh, the super chats, guys. All right, I think that's enough uh, manure spreading. We can get back to wind rowing the grass that we can. No, 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 no. I think I wanted to make... I think I wanted to make hay bales, right? Maybe sell them. So we need to get the tether out. I think we'll uh, turn manual attaching off for the rest of the night. As cool as it is, I will continue to use it. But I think that mod that we tried to use on that cedar was it just wasn't going to work with manual attaching, I don't think. Because we couldn't get the darn wheels folded. Um, what am I doing? Better. Better than it is. <laughs> oh, crap. <clears throat> 
When does season two come out, says Cameron? Season two. Or Farm Sim? What do you mean? Season two did come out. Or no, no, it didn't. My bad. I, I pre-ordered it. Uh, that's a good question. I mean, you can purchase it, and then things come out throughout the year. Of This is year two. Like uh, the 21st, which is, what, four days away, we'll get the Go Goving, Goving DLC. Yeah, things just kind of release whenever Giants puts, you know, tells you. It doesn't all happen at once, if that's what you're asking. Did you know Vambuski is in Hot Springs, North Carolina? I can't keep track of where he's at, Kevin. He's always somewhere different. No, I didn't know he was there. And I have no idea how far away that is from me. That's, that's pretty far away. I'm in South Carolina. I'll get the old Massey hooked up to the little uh, tether here. Yeah, that won't be the last time you see me use manual attaching. Pretty cool. Frosty, will you grace us with a song? I don't know. I don't know, sir. I talked about that a while ago. I don't know if you were here or not. Okay, Cameron. Okay. All right. Hey, Abraham. Yeah. To make hay, we got to flip it over to dry. Kind of curious how my son's uh, dance went. He's home. I'm, just, I'm streaming, so I, I can't find out. He's probably pooped. Probably tired. He's probably already showered and got in bed. this big fleet of working tractors we got sitting out here. I think I left the one running, too, the whole time. Alex Yammer. How's Alex doing tonight? <clears throat> Did that song just have a 007 breakdown? It may have. Did you like that? I know where you live, Frosty. It would be great if you would at least look out your window and acknowledge me in Deep Creek. No. I heard there's going to be a new farming simulator. <laughs> coming out soon. I've seen videos of the gameplay. What you talking about, Alex? Which, what's the name of the game? I know there's a mobile one. I can't remember the actual name of it, but there's been a lot of hype around that. But I, I'm not a mobile game player, so probably won't be checking that out. There, there were some games that I don't think ever took off. Wasn't there one called Cattle and Crops or Cra Crops and Cattle or something like that? Did that, like, come to an end? I heard about it, and then I haven't heard anything about it. And then there's, uh... There's a couple of them on Steam. I remember putting them on my wish list just to keep an eye on the development, and I never heard anything. Like, they must have gave up or didn't have enough money to continue working on it. How pleasant is that? That's almost pleasant as Pleasant Valley Ranch Dressing. Pleasant View Farms. FS23 on mobile. Have a good one, Brian Santor. Have a good night, brother. <clears throat> he 
You doing good, Alex? Good, good, good. Yeah, FS23 on mobile, yeah. But no, there's another farm and mobile game that's getting a lot of hype. And it does look pretty good. I just, I don't do that. Can't remember the name of it. To the frosty dream. I think I seen a new farming game on Xbox, but don't remember the name. Hi there, Frosty. Hello, Elizabeth Sturdy. Nice to have you back in the chat tonight. How's Elizabeth doing this evening or morning? What time is it in the UK right now? I don't know what anybody's times are now that the time changed. All I know is Podo is three hours behind me, which it's hard to do things with him because... What's late for him is super late for me now. And I don't stay up that late anymore. <laughs> yes, American farming. That's it. American farming. If anybody likes playing mobile games, go check that out. It, can you play it yet? Or is it just still being worked on? It looks good. I watched uh, a trailer on YouTube from the guy who made the game or his team. I don't know what it's called. But American farming, that's it. It looks pretty stinking good. It's got a lot of, uh, it's got like an 80s feeling to it, like 80s, 90s farming. It looks, it looks real nice. If I was a mobile player, I'd, I'd definitely check it out. <clears throat> RK Holy Cross coming in with the $5 super chat. Thank you very much, Papa. It's RK Holy Cross for the St. Patty's Day $5 Super Chat. Smiley face, too. Thank you, RK. We're back to sleepy music again. <laughs> I believe it's still getting worked on. All right, so it's not available to play on yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It's 2.53 a.m. in London. Chase! Actually, that's not bad. 10.53, 11, 12, 1, 2. All right, so you gained an hour on me. So now instead of five-hour gap with Stevie, it's a four-hour gap. Okay. <clears throat> but it's still stinking late for Stevie. trying to get rid of that little cough. Dang. This won't go away. <clears throat> There's a video of a trailer for a new Farm and Simulator 24 on YouTube. Sim Farm Sim 24? I'll have to check it out. I, I haven't heard about that. 2 p.m. Saturday for Outlaw. Isn't that crazy? They're in Australia. I missed a fall, you slaying. Coming in with the gifted membership. And that's going to Rip Riley. Oh, Rip Riley receiving that one. There you go, Rip Riley. Look at that. You helped me out tonight. Someone helped you out by uh, giving you a gifted membership. Mr. Fire Slaying. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Fire Slaying. Fire Slaying, how, uh, how, how good are you right now? Are you y'all there? I know you're having a little St. Patty's fun. Are you all there, brother? I can't imagine him being under the under the influence. Whew, he's he's a handful not under the influence. I can't even imagine. Oh boy. Not out yet. The squad is Oh, the squad is making it, really. It's resting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, the trailer I watched for it looked really good. Little mass is just a moving. All oh, there, some moonshine in place. <laughs> I'm headed out. See y'all next week. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Much love. Deep Creek, have a good one, brother. I'm going to try to uh, get episode 21 of the survival series up and going. <laughs> I haven't I haven't got it recorded or I haven't even, yeah, I haven't recorded it yet. So it's up in the air. I'm hoping we'll have that for you guys to watch Sunday. But uh, we'll just have to see if I get it done or not. Dang it. I'll be, I'll be honest, I really enjoyed live streaming it last week. That was fun. Now that we have the uh, the actual log harvester in that auto log trailer, uh, that was fun. Clearing out land real quick now. But I know a lot of people like watching it in a video form. I'm doing fine now. Thanks for asking, Frosty. It's now about 3 a.m. soon. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we got that all tattered. Bunch of hay laying out of here. Yeah, I think Deep Creek said goodnight twice. We still got one more to go. He'll say goodnight a third time here a little later. Yeah, we need someone to keep track of how many times Deep Creek says goodbye. <laughs> What's up, Tristan West? How's Tristan doing this evening? Uh, let's see. All right, I caught up to everybody there. All right, now we have to win row. Because we got it all spread out. The old case fired up. We're losing daylight. It's uh, 3.20 in the afternoon in the game. And there is rain in the forecast. Definitely don't want to tether in the rain. We got to get this done. hammer down good night 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 good night good night says my uh, fire slam yeah you might actually fall asleep after your little St. Patty party are you gonna build the survival roller coaster gonna build the survive is that what is that a joke what is that you being serious are you pulling my chain I tried to miss fire slam I tried to <laughs> he came into Poto's chat today and I I said I hid and I really did <coughs> I really did go hide Oh, I got that little scratch. <sighs> nice. Now we're going to try to just do lines back and forth. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to go very well, but... I'm 
most likely going to sell all these. Because we got plenty of hay. And we got plenty of grass in the future to make more hay. <clears throat> this is going to be a big money load right here. You went into hiding and wouldn't talk, Mr. Jack Wacker, to me. That's right. I was hiding. Roller coaster on Silver Run. There is one on Silver Run. With all the logging you're doing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just confused me for a minute. I was like, what the heck is he talking about? Yeah, we already made the roller coaster. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't want to go back to Silver Run. It's a great map. I have nothing against it. I just, I got my fill. Um, uh, yeah. Tier 3 members and I, we, uh, we played the crap out of it for like two or three weeks straight. And now I just, I don't want to play on it anymore. Anybody else feel that way about that map? Like, it was awesome. Is beautiful. I love the red oak or the red uh, redwood trees. It was fun. I just don't have any desire to farm on it anymore or log on it. I guess not really much farming on that one. It's fun though. We conquered it for what it offers. That's that's kind of how I felt, especially after making the campground and the trail with the dirt bikes. Like we just we kind of I don't know. It felt finished. <laughs> it felt like there's nothing else really to do except cut more trees down. We cleared out a lot of area around the uh, sawmill. What's up, Zach Ryan? Happy, happy Patty Day. <clears throat> You're being picked on? Aw, you all right? <laughs> Trying to make this one of my most organized hay jobs I've ever done. Trying to make it nice and neat. Easy for the baler to uh, bail up. I feel like I'm doing all right. I'm doing a decent job, eh? Looks pretty good, huh? Something satisfying about making bales. My favorite things to do. Sim Station, you missed the struggle bus that ran over Frosty. Whew. Uh, Mr. Frosty, how's Bally Spring treating you? It's, I'm back to getting relaxed again. We, ha we had a little moment, but it wasn't because of the map. <clears throat> it was a certain piece of equipment that, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we're, we're, back, we're back to business now, though. How you doing tonight, sir? I think I made Pleasant. Uh, I think I made Pleasant View mad. He was here at the beginning of the stream, and then he hasn't been back since, because he wanted to have an Alice night. And I thought he heard me last night. I said, "Nope, I'm gonna do Valley Spring for uh, for St. Patty's Day." And I think he might be mad at me, Sim Station. Can you calm him down for me? Can you tell him it's gonna be all right? I might have to go back and watch that. It wasn't too long ago. When was that? I was about, I'd say, 30 minutes ago. Maybe 40 minutes ago. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they need to add other products to do house for silver run they did a great job i'm surprised more modders haven't uh done more with what they did with silver run like with building things 
Um, I mean, think about it. You could do... Wouldn't it be cool to have, like, a, a pretty blank map, like, say, No Man's Land? Say you want to make, like, a house development. Like, you just want to build all kinds of houses, a big neighborhood. Um, and you had, like, some a modder out there comes up with an infrastructure that gets built piece by piece by the type of products you bring it, just like the train and the boats. That'd be stinking cool, like building your own neighborhood. That'd be cool. I'm sure that would be intense and take a long time to uh, master and figure out, but would that be awesome or what? That would be stinking a cool. I'm using a class, a class bale wrapper. Nice. Missing some pieces. Getting sloppy. I was doing good, now I'm getting sloppy. <clears throat> that's what you meant, Avery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, that's, that's sound, that would be so cool. Trying to get lined up. Or just start, or just even building your own farm sheds and stuff. Start at zero, cut down enough wood to build the cabin, then the sheds and so on. Talk about a survival series. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. <clears throat> This field, I really didn't realize this field was going to be this big. It's a good thing, though. It means whatever we end up planting in it in the future, it's going to be a nice yield. It's going to give us a lot of product compared to our little baby fields we got. Almost got it cleaned up here. What do you have planned for the weekend, Frosty? I don't know. I know we're doing like a family movie night Sunday. Sunday evening. Look how I jacked up the end of this. I was doing so good. <laughs> and then I end I end by uh, just making it look horrible. I just had to get away from that pattern I was using. But I would have just stuck to the pattern. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do this right. We can't leave it looking like that. Yeah, I don't know. Tomorrow is going to be a, a pretty laid back day, probably hang out with the kiddos and play basketball and just chill out. Other than that, not a whole lot. Maybe cook something or uh, grill something on the grill. Uh, Sean Swarm. 
coming in at Jack Wacker level three. He has gone to the top of the Poe totem pole and is now a level three Jack Wacker. Thank you very much for the upgrade, sir. And if you are having any thoughts of uh, farming with me, I don't know if you're just supporting to support, but if you're wanting to actually farm on PC, um, you should have access to all the information needed. Um, mods and all that good stuff. Passwords, all that good stuff. So uh, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you. It's Mr. Sean Swan. Sounds like a nice relaxing weekend. Yeah, as far as I know. Unless Miss Frosty has stuff for me to do that I don't know about. <laughs> There's always that possibility. <laughs> You want a bowl, Kevin? You want a bowl? I like the color, says Watchdog. I like the color wood. Did you ever manage to get your newest farm up and running? I did, but there's issues with it. You were just starting it when I went off the air. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, the hauler. Something's wrong with that map. Something with the graphics, which is sad, because I, I put... Yeah, you're going to get me. You're going to get me cranky again. Yeah, I put a good 15 hours into building all that just just to have it be one of those maps that has issues. So yeah, that was a little frustrating, but it's all good. So I don't know if we'll see the hauler anymore. It just there seems to be too many issues with it. All right, this is 96% full, so we're going to probably poop out a grass bale to start out then then we will have yeah it's a grass bale the rest of them will be hay bales though I thought that the construction games did that <clears throat> Oh, build houses. Gotcha, gotcha. You're a little behind on what we're talking about, I think. Or I am. It's one or the other. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Been a long day for my son. Decided to jump off the couch and popped his elbow out of socket. Ugh. Ouchie. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Ouch. Yeah, kids will be kids, but dang. Those are always kind of scary moments when that kind of stuff happens. Well, hope he's feeling all right. Ouchie. I don't think I've ever popped anything out of socket. I've been very lucky. <clears throat> What's up, Tony? Tony Martig in the house says, uh, what is he at? Uh, Let's go bowling, says Mr. Farsland. <laughs> Uh, where's Tony? There he is. Wow, man, how many comments did I miss, Tony? I didn't know you were here. Sorry, buddy. I think I'm getting a little tired. And I haven't even been live. Well, I've been live three hours. Feeling fatigued. Got that St. Patty's fatigue setting in. Such a nice little baler. I like that new Holland. It's nice and colorful. Nice and detailed. So we're making the 6,500 liter uh, hay bales right now. And I guessed that we'd make about 22. We had a couple people say 17. Um, John said between 10 and 50. <laughs> We've only done the outside row and already spit out one, two, I don't know, three, four, or something like that. We're doing good. We're off to a good start. I have green on. I do have green on. Got my John Deere shirt on tonight. I sure do. Boy. All right, now it's back and forth. Uh, 
right, before we do that, one, two, three, four. Four. So there's 12 to start out with. 12 on my counter from another from the other fields tonight. So anything over 12 is what this field makes. Filling up quick. Let's go bowling, says Mr. Fireslam with a $2 super chat. Are you a good bowler? Are you a good bowler there, Fireslam? I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty good bowler. I haven't bowled in a long time. We were talking about bowling last night. Yeah, I had a good. I had my dice where I could throw that ball pretty good. I see Rex running across that field just a moment ago. It was either that or a black crow. It's hard to say. Sometimes the crows look like dogs. <laughs> Elizabeth, I think you are behind. I think she might have accidentally went back on the stream or something. Because I haven't seen Rex in probably an hour. So you might not be at the, the live moment. Yeah, I haven't seen Rex in quite a while. He's on the other side of the farm. You have your own bowling ball? I got one too. I got my own bowling ball and a pair of shoes. I got bowling shoes. And I wear them when I go bowling because they're bowling shoes. They're nice. They're black and white. Kind of smell like grease. That's right. RK thinks 17. He's almost two, and we spent the whole evening at Children's. He'll be fine. But the kid is fearless. Yeah, my kids are a little more careful. They're like me, very careful. And that's probably why, because they grew up around being careful. They're not very, they're not daredevils. Although my son did break his wrist on one of those one wheels. <laughs> so I guess I can't talk, but. I would have fell too and broke my wrist. She's four hours ahead of us, so maybe she saw something in the stream we haven't yet. Maybe. She's, <laughs> she saw something in the future. Yeah, I think you're, yeah. Isn't that weird how you can do that? You can accidentally go back and watch part that already happened while it's live it shouldn't let you it shouldn't let you do that you shouldn't be able to go backwards until the stream's over bud man 81 in the house the bud man Just trying to get the bales in before the uh, the rain falls for there's rain in the forecast good out there, huh? Might have to buy an auto baler, though. Not an auto baler, uh, auto pickup. Baylor's doing awesome at picking up the swath. Like if I go a little left or a little right, it's getting it all still. Good one. <clears throat> I got bales. They're multiplying. 
If you do not have DVR on in your setting, you cannot go back. The autocorrect on my phone only makes this more embarrassing. Everyone is required to tap dance at least a little bit if they wear bowling shoes. All right. I'm doing okay. Lungs and chest hurt from coughing. How are you? Yeah, he, Stevie says says he's been just coughing nonstop. Can't get rid of the cough. Bowling is the best competition sport. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, when you were buzzed. Okay. I didn't read all that. I didn't read the whole thing. There, okay, now I see what you're saying. Drop it like it's hot. Is that a blue case? It is. It sure is. Oh, you got something? You got got something to say about my blue case? You don't like it? You got something against blue case, huh? I like a nice blue case. All right, Frosty, have you been doing grass this whole stream? What's it to you, Tony? Yeah, <laughs> mostly. We did plant. Oh, we did. We did. Uh, we did drill some uh, wheat into a field. That was fun. I've got this new Massey uh, cedar. Oh, it's so cool, Tony. You you would love it. It's so cool. It folds up when you're done using it. You would have really enjoyed it. Dang it. Sorry you missed it, buddy. But yeah. Other than that, we've been making lots of. Uh, yeah. Lots of bales. I still need to feed the cows. I'd like to feed the cows before the stream is over. A bunch of wiggle wiggle. I have a John Deere green case. I miss a lot of things. Uh, Stevie, have you tried not coughing? Yeah, I mean, that's... I would try that, Stevie. When you get a chance, try to stop coughing. You'll feel a lot better if you just stop coughing. I don't know if your doctor told you that, but if you try, uh, just stop coughing. Love watching you bailing. Love watching the bales as they poop out the back of the balers and a bowling bag. That's right, Elizabeth. Oh, we are a bunch of whack jobs up in here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Doing some late night farming on Valley Spring. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Hmm, there's quite a few bales out there. I don't know. I might have hit. I might have hit the jackpot. Twenty-two, right on the money. We'll we'll find out here in a minute. I don't know if there's 22 out there or not, but there's quite a few. So when I put up the screen, whatever is added to the number 12. So whatever we see, we're going to subtract 12, I guess. Whatever. However you want to do it. That's how we'll know how many bales we made. That's it. Not very many. All right. 13. We only made 13 bales. I'm sorry. We all lost. Nobody did good on that one. Nope. We did horrible. So 13 big bales out there. Really? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. That's... Wow. Thought it was going to be more. That's sad. Thought it was going to be more. 
17. Nope, 13. The cows would like food before you go home tonight, says Bradley. I know. <laughs> We're going to get them fed. I'm going to watch this. We're going to make a big train. A big choo-choo train. Come on, you're supposed to uh, follow. Come on, the old fart knocker. Nice. It's going to be one of those things where by the time I set it up, I could have had everything back to the farm. Guess it doesn't want to follow me tonight. It was working earlier. You didn't say 13. Get out of here. You said 17. I just seen it. You said 17. I told you I won, says John. John did say between 10 and 50. I don't think he said 13. I'll have to go back and find out if that's true or not. I gotta drive all this crap back one by one. <laughs> I'm very slow typist. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing great. You were 10 off, Abraham. Yeah, we, a lot of us were very far off. It's all good. If we would have made 125 bales instead of 150s in the size, then we might have uh, made it work. We might have got about 20. I got sneezed. <coughs> Ow! Nice! Woo! <sighs> Darn allergies, guys. Woo! 17, see? Told you. You ain't close. 17's not close to 13, sir. Same. You were thinking 15 from the start? That's not 13 either. Yep. We all are an odd bunch and only fire slaying. He's drunk. Well, openly at least. God. Two more gifts. Let's turn on manual attaching again for uh, putting stuff away. That'll be fun. Uh, on. Attaching. I'm gonna take the uh, ETO off, power lines off, and unhitch. Very nice, isn't that splendid? Yes, that's quite lovely, wasn't it? Very cool. I like that. Just saying, thank you. I forgot those were working, says Sean. Uh, where can I find all the info to find you in Discord? Oh, did you, did you get it? Yeah, exclamation mark Discord. And did you find the stuff in the, uh, the uh, community tab? Everything that, now that you're a member, you should be able to see all the member uh, stuff pop up. 
You know what? Let's, uh... Let's not forget this. real quick. Wait, we don't have all these nasty weeds to the entrance of the gate. I believe so, says Sean. Okay, cool, cool. And I didn't catch, were you going to want to uh, join in on the members farming on Mondays? That's when we usually do it. Mondays... Uh, show times usually 8.30 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> and even if you don't want to farm with us, uh, the, the server will be open 24-7. The, the Angevin countryside. Yeah, if you ever need any help or have questions, the Discord will be your best place to uh, do it. Um, make sure in the Discord you put in the Tier 3 members confirmation. Just put your name in there. So I can give you access to the other farm information for tier three members, all right? That's if you're wanting to farm. Didn't catch if you were gonna want to or not. <clears throat> Server's up to 176. Woo! I will try. I work late, but I will try. Nice. And you're on PC, right? Because we don't do that cross-platform stuff. Which I always try to make sure everybody knows that. Yeah, we're hardcore PC players up in here. Oh, it looks lovely. the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Whee! What? I'm gonna have to tip over. You have both, Sean? It'll be gone in an hour? Oh yeah, once I get in there. Once I get in there. We'll probably just keep buying land on the 24-7. Uh, more land, the merrier. That, that's more fields to work and more stuff to sell. Awesome. All right, so that's cleaned up. I need at least, which tractor do I need back at the house? At least this one here. Wonder why it won't let me follow my darn, I won't follow me work. Hang on. It was working earlier, and then it decided to stop working. Now it decides to work. I see how you are. All right, let's see if we can get a three tractor train going here.
Come on. Come on. Just doesn't want to switch. That's all right. At least we got at least we got Miss Fire slaying in there. She's ready to follow me. All right, let's go. Roll out. One's better than nothing. How you doing? What's up, Robbie Yonk? Doing good, man. Doing good. I'm out. See you next time. Rip Riley. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for the tips and the help. You all appreciate it. Catch you next time. She drives better than Mr. Oh, never mind. I was going to compliment her. Oh, nope, she's good. She made the turn. That mower attachment could get stuck on something. bumpy ride thank you RK thank you sir glad you enjoyed the show Should be coming in hot here. Yeah! <laughs> I knew that wasn't gonna go smooth. I came in too fast. It mimics the speed and everything, so I had a feeling that wasn't gonna go very well. Thought I was working on the farm, says Kevin. You were earlier. <clears throat> you were earlier. All right, get that lowered. PTO. Power lines. <coughs> Excuse me, man. There we go. <clears throat> oh man. <coughs> oh look who look who showed up. Looks like she figured out how to get through there, but then demolished the side of that little brick house and then ran. Cause she ain't in there anymore. <laughs> she she fled the scene. That is something Bambuski would drive, says Rhett. Good evening, Logan Goddard. You have both, says Sean. I will try. I work late, but I will try. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, you'll have to have PC to play on the server. Oh, man. <clears throat> Oh, you're fine, Logan. Yeah, we've been live for three hours and 24 minutes. I'm going to feed the cows uh, here in a moment, and that'll probably be it for the show. Have a good one, Mr. Hoffman. <clears throat> I give him vitamins in 24 minutes. Who are you giving vitamins? Who's getting vitamins? I'm waiting on the next round of Kevin's 20 questions. No, he, he did enough tonight. Yeah, that was enough questions I answered. All right, that's all set up and done. Bang, 
Oh, Stevie, look at this. Um, I don't know. I like it. I don't know if I'll use it. I don't know if it'll fit through the fences. But, uh... Look at this tractor, or this uh, harvester chat. It's a Massey 850 harvester. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get the header through those gates to certain fields. <clears throat> but I think the harvester itself should fit. But isn't that sharp? Oh, lovely. The interior. Nice. Not bad. Thought you might like that too. Alright, let's get this detached. Come on. I gotta have it straight or something. What's going on here? There we go, PTO. There we go. <clears throat> Harvester should fit. Needs some help carrying that header over the fences, yeah. Or put it on some homemade little trailer or something. It's getting dark on us in the game. All right, so let's get the shredder out of the way. We'll make a quick mix of TM all. Pretty cool though. I, I do like the uh, manual attach. It's quite nifty. hooked up good? I think so. I want to get away. I want. That's going to dump out the left side. Going to be our little mixer here. I got a lot of Masseys on the farm tonight. We got this Massey. We got this Massey. We have the little Massey we drove over. We got the Massey plant. Dang, Massey harvester. I guess I had Massey on the mind today. <clears throat> Get her down there. <clears throat> Should be able to take a whole hay bale. I thought so, anyway. Is going on tonight? Just keeps. I just keep. I just have. To have. <clears throat> I thought this was a mixer. I guess not. This is uh, the, uh, whatever. <laughs> All right. I, I I thought that was something else. I guess not. So we've got to sell that. Dang it. 
and get ourselves a mixer real fast. <clears throat> I ate up, I ate up fro. Wait, what's up, Frosty? I think that's what Justin meant to say. Uh, how are you, Justin? Just a mess, a mess, he says, Joe. Yes, a mess, a mess, -y. a mess, a mess. -y. Flip over. There you go. Alright, so now I gotta buy another mixer. Son of a biscuit. I got 27 grand. I don't know if that's enough space for it to spawn. Nothing on sale. Um, animals. Everything sorted by price, which is pretty cool. Now there's this little turd for 18.5. Uh, I think so ugly. So little. It only holds 12,000 liters. Okay. We'll do lower hook. Hmm. 19.7. Oh, it fit. Barely. Alright, so we'll get hooked up to that. <laughs> Alright, we got Tony Martig. Oh, Tony coming in with questions. Alright, Tony coming in with a $10 super chat says, I heard you wanted more questions. I'll ask for Kevin, he says. Have you ever been skydiving? No. And I, I doubt that'll ever happen. I don't know if I could uh, stomach that. I don't know if I could do that. Um, no. What is your favorite place you went on vacation? Our cruise. I've only been on one cruise in my life, and that was uh, the Bahamas. Yeah, we went to the Bahamas three, four years ago, something like that. I uh, loved it. It was a blast. It's first my first cruise experience. Kids loved it. It was a good time. ETO. I think we're good on that. <coughs> I apologize. I got that scratch in the throat tonight. Man. Have you ever been out of the USA? If not, where would you want to? Uh, I got married in Jamaica. It's Frosty and I got married in Jamaica. So that's the only out of, like, the USA. <laughs> that's as far as I've been. I've been into Mexico. Been into Canada. But, yeah, that's as exciting as it gets for me. I'm not like Red Acres, exploring endlessly. That guy goes everywhere. It's crazy. I'd love to uh, venture out a little more as I get older, but... Yeah, Jamaica was a blast. All right, how much hay is here? 11. I got to be careful here. 4, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So maybe we'll put like 4,000. Yeah, we got to be careful how we mix this. And then here's our older silage bales. We were running a little low. We'll get that up to like eighty percent. I don't know. throw some straw in, which we are running real low on. Oh boy, only two bales. Have a good one, Lucas Smith. <clears throat> Thanks, Frosty. No, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate the $10 super chat. 
hopefully I answered those questions to your approval. DMR. Only thing is, why is it not showing me the stinking thingy? Yeah, why does it? Why does it do that? <clears throat> Usually, it shows me the. Uh, You know what I mean? Usually it shows you while you're in the uh, skid steer. It's going to be pushing it close. I think it can take the whole bale. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, that worked out good. I'll take it. So we're only going to give them one load because we're running out of straw. That'll hold them off till the next month. Uh, tip side left. Yes, very nice. That's got a lot of straw in it. But it's TMR. Side left. Oh, turn mixer on. Oh, my goodness. You know what I think it is? Is I, I never saw the uh, the power lines hook up. It's got to be it, right? The power lines weren't hooked up. See? Stay. Now it says I can unload it. I tell you what, that's a cool little mod. That's a cool little mod. I like it. All right, let's back up and start at the end. <clears throat> Watch your heads, cowsies. Oh, crap. I swear, man, we are we're just having some issues tonight. Woo! I just keep messing up. There you go. Nobody saw that. I called Irish, Irish AAA just now to uh, adjust that. <clears throat> there we go. look so happy. I know, RK. Struggling. And there it is. They ate all the food. Well, they took all the food. That'll definitely hold them off for a good while. We'll just park this right here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, look at the little baby. No baby's like mine. That stuff's got a lot of straw in it. It kind of sucks. You put too much straw in it, Frosty. Look, he walked away. He's like, or she walked away. Like, I don't want none of that crap. <laughs> uh, not we, you, Sea Biscuit. Uh, low quality TMR. The cows are gonna fart on you. They're, they walked away. They didn't even want it. I don't want that crap. Yeah, we put we put a lot of straw in there. Just just barely going overboard with the straw. So let's take a look at the animals. See how much food they got. Uh, the baby chicks and ducklings, they're uh 
It says it's low, but there's like 9,000. That's plenty. Uh, the cows we just fed, they're good. Look at that. They got 117,000 liters. It's going to take a while for them to run out. So they're, they're doing good. Straw is a little low, but actually not. 36,000, that's a lot of straw. Yeah, we're looking good, Mike. Looking good. I'm going to get that New Holland put away, and then that's going to be it for me tonight. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice a little bit. We were busy though. We were busy tonight. <clears throat> I'm from Northern Ireland, but I'm quadruple A. Yes, you are. Will the header come off the harvester? Yeah, yeah, you can detach it. I'll have to put it on a little trailer. Uh, next cruise is in 56 days, 15 hours, and 9 minutes, but I'm not counting. It doesn't sound like it. Uh, we got Kevin Flores. Kevin coming in with the $30 super chat. Says, Frosty, did you ever find out what the girls were cooking downstairs? No, I'm, I'm sitting here, Kevin. I didn't get to go downstairs to find out. Whatever it was, it's probably already been destroyed, and they ate it and enjoyed it. And there might be leftovers if I'm lucky. How am I going to find out about it, Kevin? I've been sitting here farming the whole time. Kevin. What are you just trying to rub it in, I think? I think he's just trying to rub it in. Because it did smell delicious, and I don't know what it was. There's probably nothing left. Bobby. Just had to bring that up, didn't you? Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, but I don't remember. Um, I was little. I was super little. I've got, there's pictures of it, so I know it happened, but I don't remember it happening. I wouldn't mind trying it again. Horses are lovely creatures. Uh, my daughter, she rode a horse three, two or three years ago. Like slowly, it was just walking around in circles, but yeah, she loved it. But me, yeah, it's, it's been a while. I rode a camel. I used to live in Arizona when I was little. My dad was military and um, I remember going to the desert and going on a camel ride. It was like a camel tour, Grand Canyon or something. It wasn't the Grand Canyon, but it was somewhere around there where you could ride camels and take a tour. Pretty cool. I remember that. Uh, what's your favorite card game? Ow. I don't know. Uno. I don't know. I don't play cards much. Uh, you are awesome, and thanks for the continued entertainment. Thank you, Mr. Kevin Flores. You are appreciated. Tony Martin coming in with 18,818 corn kernels. Very nice. Frosty can't remember. That never happened. I remember some things. I was little, little, little. Real little. Ooh, how did we just swing that? I don't know where I'm going. Where am I parking this? We should park this over here out of the way. Nope. Just got stuck on the shed. I'm running out of room to put stuff. But yeah, if you've never seen the blue case, there it is. We have a blue case. That was the highlight of the night. People are like, what? A blue case? Where'd you get that at? I ain't never seen a blue case. It's probably because there's not one out there. But you can paint this one. It's a modded one that you can paint blue. That's my favorite color, so I figured let's do it. Alright. We got everything done before it rained, which is pretty impressive because there is rain in the forecast. I'm pretty happy about that. <clears throat> All right, it's going to be a little crooked, but we got it in there. PTO, power, trailer. Let it 
Bang bada boom. Back and forth. Such a tight little map. So tight. But it's fun. It's challenging. Oh, I... That's going to do it. I was going to try to throw some lime down tonight, but I'm, I'm whipped. I'm tired. That's three hours, 45 minutes. My throat's all scratchy. <clears throat> so uh, that's probably going to do it for me, chat. We'll fly, we'll fly above and take a look at everything we uh, did in the grass fields. Quite a bit, actually. So, uh, this field, I believe, has barley growing in it. Then we got wheat growing in this field. And then tonight, we cut this field and this field, covered it in manure. Oh, and this field, dang. Man, we got a lot of grass. Jeez. Well, I did the two little ones up here off stream. I did this on stream, did this on stream, and this I did off stream. And then we went to the other side of the farm where we did this massive field where all these bales sit. And they will continue to sit here because next time we will scoop all those up and sell those bales. So, sorry I couldn't get get to all that. I'm just, I'm a little tired, guys. So. Uh, Justin Abeta, thank you for the $10 super chat. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate you, brother. And thank you, everybody, for uh, another beautiful, supportive stream. Uh, you guys have been super supportive uh, over the last couple weeks, like super supportive. Uh, tonight is an all-time high on members in one stream. 27 new members just tonight. 27. So uh, thank you so much for that. 27. Jeez. We are uh, we're growing. We're definitely growing. And uh, I see it every night with uh, new people joining memberships. Uh, viewers keep growing. New faces in the chat. Definitely seeing growth on uh, YouTube. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, good night, Ian Oppenheim. Thank you for hanging out. Quadruple A out loud railroad. Have a good one. I'm going to try my best to have a survival series recorded for this weekend. I'm going to try. I can't promise it, but I'm going to try my best. All right. If I don't, please don't be mad, but I'll try. Chase Weeble, have a good night. <laughs> Red Acres, Wesley Bowman. Uh, Kevin Flores, Lee Bennett. Peace out, brother. Uh, my favorite part, I, I love bailing. I think I proved that tonight. We did a lot of bailing. Did a lot of grass cutting. Uh, Abraham Mendez, peace out. Chumpy, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day, even though it's the next day. It's Friday. It's Saturday right now. So St. Patty's Day is over. But have a great one, guys. Thank you so much. Sean Swarm, welcome to Tier 3. Um, I'll get you... Uh, activated on the roll in Discord uh, here in a little bit so you can see all the Discord chat for uh, the farm members. <clears throat> My Zeus, peace out. Zach Ryan, Logan Goddard, David Turville. Have a splendid, splendid weekend, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I got to go. Peace out. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>